In the dynamic world of K-pop, a series of significant events, collaborations, heartwarming gestures, and controversies have recently taken the stage, captivating fans and igniting discussions within the community. Let's delve into the details of these newsworthy happenings. Mamamoo joins the Melon Silver Club. Following the successful conclusion of their world tour and the celebration of their ninth anniversary, Mamamoo reached a remarkable milestone. The group has officially been inducted into the prestigious Melon Silver Club, an esteemed recognition bestowed upon artists who have amassed over 2 billion streams on the renowned streaming platform. Mamamoo proudly became the 21st artist to achieve this feat, and notably, they are the only girl group not affiliated with a major entertainment company to receive this honor. Fans were elated by this achievement, eagerly anticipating the future accomplishments and endeavors of Mamamoo. Text's exciting collaboration with the Jonas Brothers. Text, the talented boy group under big hit music, sent shockwaves through the fandom with the announcement of their collaboration with the internationally acclaimed pop band, the Jonas Brothers. A track poster revealed that Text's upcoming digital single would feature this iconic American group. Fans were thrilled by the unexpected and highly anticipated collaboration, eagerly awaiting the release of the official music video on July 7. The combination of Text's youthful energy and the Jonas Brothers' seasoned pop prowess has sparked immense anticipation, with many believing that this collaboration might result in the next summer hit. Luna's exclusive contract with Mod House, in an exciting turn of events, Luna, the former member of FX, has signed an exclusive contract with Mod House Entertainment. This agency also represents her former groupmates Amber, Crystal, Victoria, and the late Suli. Mod House expressed gratitude to Luna for choosing to continue her musical journey with them, promising unwavering support. Additionally, Luna will participate in Mod House's Artem's project, collaborating with her fellow group members on new music set to be released during the summer. Fans of Luna and FX were overjoyed by this news, eagerly looking forward to their future activities under Mod House Entertainment. Controversy surrounding Lucerifem's choreography. The girl group Lucerifem recently found themselves embroiled in a choreography controversy following a performance in Japan. A brief video clip circulated online, showcasing a dance move where member Yunjin lifted Kazuha's leg and went underneath while singing. This particular move gained attention among Japanese fans but drew mixed reactions from netizens. Some viewers found the choreography strange and inappropriate, questioning its inclusion. Others defended the creativity of the move and praised Kazuha's flexibility, suggesting that it added an interesting dynamic to the performance. Opinions remained divided, with fans and critics alike engaged in spirited discussions about the appropriateness and artistic value of the choreography. Is one's heartwarming gesture for a young fan? Members of the beloved group Is One touched the hearts of fans with a heartwarming gesture. The group visited a 10-year-old fan named Hyundai, who is bravely battling osteosarcoma, a malignant bone tumor, at the hospital. Hyundai, an avid watcher of his one's videos during her treatment, had expressed her heartfelt wish to meet the members in person. The wish was granted on June 15 when his one paid a special visit to the hospital. During the encounter, Hyundai energetically followed the choreography of his one's hit song I Am With Her Arms, despite being confined to a wheelchair. Make-A-Wish Korea, the organization facilitating the meeting, expressed gratitude to Starship Entertainment and his one for making Hyundai's dream come true. This heartwarming gesture served as a source of courage and hope for Hyundai, inspiring her to overcome her illness and envision a brighter future. Yena's song title controversy. Yena, a K-pop artist, found herself in the midst of controversy with the release of her music video titled Hate Rodrigo, featuring Idol Zuki. The song, part of Yena's second single album called Hate 20, raised eyebrows among netizens due to its title. The music video and the single's cover art bore resemblances to Olivia Rodrigo's Deja Vu music video and album artwork. While Yena's company, Uehua Entertainment, clarified that the concept aimed to express adorable jealousy and disliking those superior to her.
Some netizens felt that including Olivia Rodrigo's name in the title without a close relationship seemed inappropriate. The controversy sparked debates about the intention behind the song title and its potential effects, with fans and critics expressing diverse perspectives. These recent developments within the K-pop landscape have captivated fans and prompted discussions across various platforms. As the industry continues to evolve, the actions and decisions of K-pop artists will undoubtedly continue to generate interest and shape the future of this vibrant musical genre. Thank you.